Welcome to lockdown vlog number 23. Today it is raining in Rotterdam. Grey skies. Not much to see outside. Actually for today I am filming this in between some uh, work related appointments. So it's not going to be a long video but I'll just take you along on the things that I am doing at the moment. So one of the things that I am doing is, let me see, put a little bit more light in there. I took out the driver from the Alison 6. I told you yesterday if I'm brave enough I will try to put new surrounds in there uh, coming weekend. But cleaning the surrounds here, the metal part, to make sure that I can glue it, that is going to take a lot longer than I anticipated. So I don't know if I am going to do it this weekend or maybe later on. And here's a look inside. They have some kind of a mesh protection for the, um, the wool or whatever it is that is inside of there. So I think this thing is actually pretty interesting the way it is built also. But um, well, cleaning this up needs a lot of work. This one is still in there. Let me put a little bit more light up there. So as you can see, let me take this off. There is like over there, this thing is just broken. It falls apart just like that. So I'm going to have to take off this ring, clean everything. So to have a smooth surface for the rings and that I'm going to glue in. And those are these ones. Come on. So I have, of course, two of them. So probably that's going to be a little bit later because this cleaning up takes is going to take way longer than I uh, anticipated. But anyways, that's one of the things that I am uh, doing at the moment. And some other things to show you downstairs. What's the count today? 821. It's nice to see the number growing. And I put this on my um, on my staircase, so every day I get reminded of uh, my channel and the numbers, and it is uh, it's a very satisfying uh, um, to change the numbers and go higher and higher. Okay, so here we have some of the old cabling because I'm going to show you what I'm doing in the man cave. This is the old cabling that came out. As you can see over here, this is a work in progress. This is 50 meters of loudspeaker cable. So I had to untangle it a little bit in order to make sure that I can um, complete all the wires at the length that they, that they need. So what I did yesterday for the quad, ah, I can, let me just, Wait, why won't it work? Oh, there we go. For the quad is connected to the DIN audio over here and the DIN audio over there. Now, upstairs in my main system, what I want to do over there is to do all the audio file uh, things. For this room, because I have such a lot of equipment, my main objective is to make sure that everything is playing and I'm less concerned with all the audiophile stuff that I can do with it. For one thing, none of these loudspeakers are in an ideal place. So that's one of the things because there's something like 18 loudspeakers in this room that I have to uh, uh, connect to all the different kind of gear. So I bought some much cheaper loudspeaker cable which is not the cheapest i have been looking at the quality of course this is oxygen free copper from a little bit of a higher quality instead of some of the very very cheap loudspeaker cables that will have a 
plus with some copper and a, a minus will be maybe even aluminium or some other the cheapest stuff that they can find this is a better quality so and um, normally what you'll do is you have your loudspeaker cable going from there to the quartz and I had the uh, the former loudspeaker cable I had the same length but it only needed to go from there to there so what I've done now in the new situation is to make just a short cable over here and a long cable over there because this length was always dangling and lying around somewhere over here because it was just too much and the same goes for all these loudspeakers so you can imagine that um, this loudspeaker has the longest way to there but this loudspeaker is very close to the amp so it only needs a short loudspeaker cable so i let go of the rule that all the cables need to be the same length something i would never do in uh, my big system upstairs but i will do this uh, in this room because i have a different objective i just want everything that i have to be able to play um, and i also like it to look a little bit uh, 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 tidy so what else do we have here all right i'm also working this wall which is of course my media wall and as you can see the um, one two three lines shelves with the cds is completely filled up all the way to the end so in one of the coming days i'm going to get an extra shelf and create an extra shelf for uh, cds because not all my cds are in there at the moment so um and i'm rearranging some of the uh, the shelves right over here and this stack is because when you do this for a long time and every now and then i see a cd that i like and say oh i have to buy it and sometimes I forget that I already had it or maybe it's just a little bit of a different uh, um, way that is um, what was I going to say for example these two Ray Charles and Ray Charles they look the same but this has an extra DVD in it and this one doesn't so not all editions are the same so here's a little stack that I made of all the ones that I have double check out if they are exactly the same then I'm going to try to resell resell them um, this is the laser disc that I showed you yesterday the Aladdin and of course there's a lot of other laser discs that I have and this is just because they are wonderful to look at and of course I do have a laser disc player right over here it is still functioning so every now and then I do play it but this is more like collecting like you would collect paintings I just love looking at this stuff and that is the main reason for this room is to have all the stuff that I have all the devices are working and to sit in the middle of well this is my history you see on top there's the VHS tapes that um that i bought maybe a very 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 long time ago and i still have it so this is also a little bit of my life laser disc when it came out it was something that i could not afford because laser disc came at the end of the vhs life and just the beginning of the dvd became actually much too soon for laser disc so this uh, looks digital but laserdisc is actually still analog and um, the DVD of course was digital and laserdisc was crazy expensive at the time so this is also um, for me a reason to buy them now is 
a little bit of a revenge because I couldn't afford it when they came out but I loved to look at it and a lot of these editions I've shown you before a lot of these editions are actually really 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 beautiful um, okay so one more thing one of the better audiophile things I bought lately <laughs> um, well mostly for my hobby is this this is like a book standard so you can put your um, books on side of it and why is this interesting for me because over here I have these DVD shelves and they go all the way up to the end and I was afraid of the DVDs falling off of the side and now what I did is I bought some of these I don't even know if you can see it but here's the top of it this is the book side stand this is how you can see it so this makes sure that the um, let me pull it out a little bit it makes sure that the DVDs do not fall off the side of the shelf and when they are standing like that you don't even see that they are held up so that's one of the little pleasures that I get out of looking for solutions to make sure that uh, all the stuff that I have has a spot but also to have it trying to make it look nice which is difficult enough when it's just like a storage uh, <laughs> facility if you think about it okay so before I go into my next meeting let's go back upstairs have a last look at the weather and I wish you all a very very good weekend and I'll see you next Monday thank you for watching and see you later